digitalization of the energy sector is where I think we will really make progress and where we can really bring some of these new interesting technologies online. I mean, the digitalization goes really hand in hand with introducing the renewables into the sector. The 27% renewable energy target is, is, is not where we need to be. That, that, that's extremely clear. Uh, it should be at least 35%. Uh, and we know that because there's been uh, extensive uh, research done on this. Irene has done some, some work showing that uh, the, the cost effective uh, trajectory is probably closer to 34, 35%. So if, if we only want to be cost effective, not even ambitious, not even trying to be globally leading, but just cost effective, it's at least 34, 35%. So we need to factor that in. Electricity now with uh, very much interconnected countries is becoming a international commodity like any other. You're free to do whatever you want in your member state, but it should not have a negative influence uh, to the markets and to end consumers. A guarantee of origin is basically a certificate that says we have created um, a megawatt of, of renewable electricity and the person who buys that takes that and then rips it up. And there you go, that, that's been bought, it's been used, done. And therefore you can account for every bit of renewable, every electron of renewable electricity that's been produced. The claims made by our members are all, audit, all, all checked by CDP. So you're not trusting national governments to do this? This is an independent audit process? This is an in independent process, yeah. I think first you have to understand, guarantees of origin as they exist today is largely greenwash. You have companies like, uh, I don't know if somebody from Siemens is here. Siemens has a, a 2025 being at 100% renewables only with these greenwash GOOs. And then you have Google who has 100% uh, renewables with Almost everything, I think, is new additional renewables. So now we get into a problem that how do you, in your corporate social responsibility uh, reporting, how do you make a difference between the virtuous and those who are just, in a certain sense, doing greenwash?